just feel like building a loft. Hey guys, it's Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a speed build of a minimalist loft. I just really wanted to build a loft and I wanted to use some of the new items from Eco Lifestyle as well as a couple of items that I had in my head and I was thinking like a tiny loft but I couldn't figure out the roofing to get it to work with ladders. I've gotten it to work with a staircase before. I will link that loft down below. However, the way I wanted this to work, it didn't work the way I wanted it so, so it's two stories but it is a pretty small space and I did picture or try and make the bedroom loft area to be very minimal, just the, the smallest bed I could find that looks like it could be something that's just laying on the floor, a beautiful plant, and some books. It's super simple, it's really cute, and I feel like it'd be really cozy to stay here, and it's really relaxing, and I placed this in the world of Brindleton Bay out on the Hindquarter Hideaway lot. So this build comes in at around 30,000 simoleons, so relatively affordable, but that makes sense because there isn't that many items on this lot. Uh, but here we are working on that bedroom space I had mentioned earlier. I do kind of jump back and forth between the different areas of this home as I wanted to make sure everything was fitting and matching like the same aesthetic and you know, I, I just bounce around quite a bit in this. So apologies for that if that bothers you. Uh, but this is pretty much it for the living, or not the living space, the bedroom space. Like I said, very, very simple, but I think it looks so cozy and I've definitely seen lots of examples of tiny homes that have that very minimal, clean aesthetic and that's definitely what I was going for here. In the kitchen down here, we use these countertops from Jungle Adventure. They are one of my favorites. I could have used the ones from Island Living because they're a little bit more minimal, but I really, really like the handles on these. I know some people think they're too big, but I really like them. I think that's just like a nice feature of them and makes them have a little bit more personality. And I know personally from when I watch a ton of tiny house tours, it's always really interesting seeing the different things that are chose, the different materials, swapping out knobs and uh, just some of the sentimental decisions or cool finds that the Sims or real people in this case, uh, but that these Sims could have found when they were building their tiny home. So I guess this is an installment of the Squish. I didn't really intend it to be, but I guess it is. Uh, I just really wanted to build a minimalist loft and it happens to be quite tiny. I don't think I set it as a tiny residential lot though, so I could change that before I upload it to the gallery. Um, but anyway, speaking of the squish, uh, last night when this goes up, last night was the deadline for submitting uh, entries into this month's squish tours, which the theme was eco. Probably sometime later today when you guys are seeing this, I will be going through those and sometime in the next few days, those tours should be up. I cannot wait to see what you guys have built. You definitely blow me away every single time and I'm just so impressed and I get so many ideas and so I'm very excited to check those out. But I hope everyone else is having a fantastic day today. And if you haven't checked out the submissions yet, please go on the gallery and search the hashtag Squish Tours Eco and uh, take a look. I, like That's what I'm going to be doing. So if you want to get some inspiration, simmers are just... I just love looking at everyone's builds. But anyway, we're working on landscaping now. I have quite a bit of that. Uh, it is simple, but there's a lot of it because I liked the idea of having this very modern minimalist structure in the middle of the woods where maybe the landscape isn't as neat and tidy as the house is. I really just love doing stuff like that. Uh, kind of like how I like putting modern structures in the middle of the jungle, that kind of vibe. I just like the contrast there. So just adding some plants here and there, a lot of show live edit objects, which I think is part of the reason this lot ended up being so cheap because a lot of the plants I used were free. Not all of them were, but a lot of them were. And obviously there's not that much furniture inside. So uh, I, actually, how long does it take to earn 30,000 civilians because you start the game with 20,000 and then if you have two sims I think you have 22,000 and you could definitely have two sims in this house because there is a double bed upstairs that you can access both sides you could probably even swap out the sofa for a Murphy bed and just have a ton of sims in here but I feel like that would not be the most private situation I feel like one to two sims maybe a pet would be the max for this home 
I'm remembering to add a mailbox and a trash can. Uh, the other day when I was going to take screenshots for the base game home I uploaded earlier in the week, I uh, the, the mailbox was inside the front door and I realized I hadn't added an outdoor trash can either. Those are my two most forgotten items, um, but obviously sometimes I'll forget other things as well. I feel like it happens all the time to a lot of us. Uh, but I remembered in this build, so that was exciting. And then here upstairs, I forgot I did add some mirrors to this wall. That makes the space look a little bit bigger. And then there's a space for your sims to go ahead and check themselves out. I don't think they're usable though because they're blocked by the bed, but I just thought it looked nice. And there is a mirror in the downstairs bathroom, so you could definitely use that if you needed the functionality of a mirror, which is also what you would use for changing your sims clothes because I don't think I put a dresser in this house. Um, but that's okay because luckily your sims can just use a mirror. Can you imagine in real life you didn't need a closet or drawers to keep all your clothes in? You just go to the mirror and be like, I'm in create a sim now. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, but anyway, I am adding some show live edit objects or debug. I always get them confused. I think this is just regular debug. Uh, glassware over on these shelves. I just, I love the look of that having open shelves with glassware on it. So I wanted to include that. It really fits the uh, more clean look I was going for rather than having some bulky cabinets up there. And uh, just a couple of plants as well. I do size down this one from University. I think this is such a pretty plant and I don't know if I've ever sized it down that small, but I just thought it looked so cute. And I think that's most of what I do for the decorations in here. I can't remember if I put anything on that top shelf or not but I am adding a trash can and a temperature control as well as the uh, fire alarm. I almost call it a thermostat, which is the same thing as the temperature control. But uh, yeah, a fire alarm. We now have firefighters, so the fire alarm does more for you than it used to, which is nice. Uh, but this is the bathroom. I did have it as a wet room and all of this is functional. You can access all three of the items in here, which I think is awesome. It's a really good layout and I think it only works with the... Yeah, it definitely only works with the university shower as it doesn't really have sides. It doesn't block off your way. You can walk through it. I love that shower. I think it's so helpful for smaller spaces and also making more custom looking showers for your builds. As for the living space, I decided to go with this couch from Eco Lifestyle. It's one of the fabricated couches using the houndstooth dye. I think it's really pretty and it added a little bit more, not necessarily texture, but pattern to the space, which I feel like just helps against the plain white walls and the minimal color palette. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. And then I used these wall dividers. I think these, are these the ones that came at the pack? Or, because these same dividers came with so many different packs. They came with City Living, they came with, uh, I think it Famous, and with the newest pack, Eco Lifestyle. They're just slightly different in all of them. So I don't know which one this, those are, but I thought that just split up that wall a little bit and gave a simple decoration to the space. I also really like this rug. I wish it came in different sizes though, but I love the simple texture on it. I just thought it looked so nice. And then I definitely wanted to add these little tables, which are from Get to Work. They're some of my favorite small coffee tables you can have in the game. And I loved the pop of color in the legs of them. I thought that added a lot to the space and really helped pull in that orangey wood tone that I just placed on the walls. And I thought about having the lemonade pitcher, but I ended up getting rid of that in the end and adding a plant. And then one of the digitalistic sketch pads that is part of the, uh, is it called the fashion designer career? I'm not sure. It came with base game, uh, base game update. But I can't remember. Style influencer, maybe? Uh, but I add that tablet on the table in a little while. But first, I wanted to switch out that rug in the kitchen for the one with the leaves on it, which I thought worked really well. And then upstairs, I do add a chair, a planter, and then downstairs, we're going to add an easel. I was thinking this was more of a creative person who likes a lot of greenery and plants. And so that's what I went with for this space. I can just imagine how peaceful it would be living someplace like this with very minimal possessions, being away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and being able to focus on your art and your passions and just living more simply. So uh, I think I achieved that with this build. That's definitely the vibe I was going for, but you guys can let me know if you think that's how this home 
makes you feel. I'm not sure I worded that the best, but I do appreciate any feedback you guys have on this build or any build. Uh, I love hearing what you think about them, things you'd like to see, ideas you have or get, and uh, I just love this little community so much. So thank you guys so much for being here. We're just finishing up some landscaping and then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video in case you're interested. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.